शहबाज शरीफ खिताब कर रहे हैं the istanbul program of action which charted out a vision and strategy for the sustainable development of ldcs it is both timely and important to revisit its implementation despite progress in some areas implementation of the istanbul program of action has remained insufficient and uneven only four countries were able to graduate out of least developed status in fact the ldcs were victims of the pandemic of inequality inavailability of vaccines technologies finance and opportunities and they continue to be affected by the climate crisis with cascading effects of different shocks often at the same time ladies and gentlemen while ldcs make up 14% of the global population they account for only 1.3% of the global gdp 1% of the global trade and merely 1.4% of the global fdi these multiple crises have taken a heavy toll on the least developed countries their gdp growth has plummeted international trade has shrunk poverty and food insecurity has risen inequality has widened due to these fact the factors developing countries like pakistan have also suffered a severe setback to their developmental goals mr president i am here to express pakistan's full support and solidarity with the developed countries in their quest for social progress and economic prosperity as we move towards the implementation of the doha program of action pakistan will continue to advocate several specific steps to advance sustainable development including in the ldcs however meeting its ambitious targets will require revitalized global partnerships based on effective means of implementation in the following priority areas number 1 we must address vaccine inequity through educate and timely access to safe and effective vaccines for ldcs second the historical commitment of oda comprising 0.7% of the gni of oecd countries must be fulfilled of which 0.15 to 0.2% must be allocated to the ldcs third we must address the increasingly unsustainable debt burden of many ldcs it is a matter of great concern that six ldcs are classified as suffering from the debt burden while 17 are at high risk of debt distress fourth we must provide universal access to social protection in order to support the most needy and vulnerable fifth we also need to reform the unequal international financial architecture make it people centric and designed to address special needs and weaknesses of the ldcs lastly an international technology compact aligned with the sdgs should be adopted it should offer easy access to the developing countries to relevant advanced technologies develop their productive capacities and bridge the digital divide 
this would enable the least developed and other developing countries to participate on an equal footing in the emerging knowledge-based global economy. Mr. President, I am pleased to note that the Doha Program of Action sets an ambitious target to enable 15 additional LDCs to meet the criteria for graduation by 2031. Concrete measures agreed upon in the program of action, such as online university and international investment support center and a system of food stocks for the LDCs are laudable. <clears throat> Putting the welfare of the millions of people belonging to the LDCs at the center of affirmative policy action remains our most cherished goal. Let me assure you that Pakistan will actively support the implementation of the Doha program of action, including within the framework of South-South cooperation. Before concluding, Mr. President, I would once again like to congratulate my brother, <clears throat> the Amir of Qatar, the government of Qatar, for the immaculate arrangements of this conference. Qatar has further bolstered its standing in the community of nations as a champion of sustainable development of the global south. The beautiful city of Doha has indeed emerged as a global center of international events as so very ably demonstrated through the successful hosting of the FIFA World Cup last year. I thank you all and thank you very much for providing this opportunity. Amir Qatar ko mubar baat pesh karna chahunga jinhon ne is shandar conference ka inaqaad kiya paydar amn ke liye aur tarakki ke safar ke liye is barwaq conference ka inaqaad intehai khush aind hai duniya is ghazai qillat ka shikar hai jabke kam tarakkiyata mamalik ko mausamiyati tabdiliyon aur corona ne shadeed mutasir kiya wazir azam miyan shahbaz sharif doha mein is waqt conference se khitab kar rahe the is conference ka inaqaad apni janib se कम तरक्की याफ्ती ममालिक की कॉन्फ्रेंस के हवाले से किया गया था